it's Taylor from Semi-Random Science, and today we are going to be talking about why frisbees fly. So, like paper airplanes, real airplanes, just kind of everything that flies, frisbees have four main forces that are acting on them. They have thrust. Thrust is in the forwards direction. That's when you th initially throw it, you are providing the thrust that then the momentum takes over and keeps it moving forward. They have drag. Drag acts in the opposite direction as thrust. So when you throw it, drag starts acting on the frisbee and slows it down. And so drag is what is slowing the frisbee down and it just, it's counteracting the thrust. Then we have lift, which is in the upwards direction. It's what's counteracting gravity, which is in the downwards direction. So gravity is pulling it towards the earth. Lift is pulling it up. And so if we add those four forces together and figure out what's causing each of those four forces, we will get why the frisbee flies. So thrust, like I said before, Thrust is provided by your hand when you throw it. Drag. Drag is provided by the air. As it moves through the air, drag is going to act on it and slow it down. Then we have lift. Lift is going to be provided in the case of a frisbee. It's going to be very similar to Bernoulli's principle. So as the air goes over it, it speeds up on the top side. So similar to an airplane wing, airplane wings are shaped kind of like a teardrop because they force air to go over them. And when it goes over it, it goes over faster than it goes under. And Bernoulli's principle says that when a fluid is moving faster, it exerts less of a perpendicular force on the surface. And so when an airplane wing flies through the air, the perpendicular force on the surface below the wing is greater than the perpendicular force on the surface above the wing because the air is moving faster above the wing. And so that causes lift and it makes the plane go up, similar to a Frisbee. So when I throw it, the air is going over the Frisbee, but the air on the bottom of the Frisbee is staying fairly stagnant. It's just staying inside of here for the most part. There is some air movement, but for the most part, it's staying in the frisbee like that, which does cause drag and all sorts of other things when the air hits these, well, edges and all that. But so it's, it's not exactly a perfect wing design, but it does make it so that you're able to throw it and it provides that lift. Gravity is provided by the earth. So gravity, any two objects with mass are attracted to each other by gravity. And so that causes the frisbee to fall. Anyway, so those four forces are what's going to make a frisbee fly. But there's another thing that we need to look at when we're looking at frisbees. Because if I just go like this, it's not going to fly very well. It does kind of fly, but not really. So for a frisbee to fly very well, we need to add stability. And since a frisbee is a circle and it's pretty much perfectly balanced, a great way to add stability is by spinning it. And so if you spin the frisbee, you're going to give it that stability that it needs to then be able to cut through the air very cleanly and make it fly further and have, and so that creates less drag because then these edges aren't taking out so much air and it just, it makes the frisbee fly straighter and cleaner. Anyway, that is also why if you throw the frisbee at an angle, so towards the camera at an angle like this, it goes this way because when you throw it, now the frisbee is getting lift in this direction and gravity is in this direction. They're not exactly counteracting each other anymore. And so that makes it so that the force is greater. Well, it adds a force in this direction. And so it moves the frisbee this way. Anyway, those are just some of the reasons that frisbee flies. I th I think that throwing frisbees is a really fun activity. I love doing it and I honestly, I just love playing with frisbees and kind of all sports. Anyway, so I just thought this would be a fun video to make on just why frisbees fly. Once again, just thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you like the video, make sure to click the like button and if you 
like to see if you would like to see more of these videos hit the subscribe button also i really want this to be an engaging channel so please comment below on any suggestions you have for videos or just things for me to do better and also do the same on social media the links to my social media pages will be in the description below just once again thank you so much for watching and remember to always keep learning